learners of class 10 welcome to the wonderful world of english language classroom learners we are doing the poem how to tell wild animals in lesson 3 english language textbook class 10 we have seen in the first episode how wild animals behave how you can identify so kriti yes sir so let's let's continue sure sir okay now Learners, you must have read after the first episode. If not, you read again. Then, oh, let's 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 uh, for the for the benefit of learners, let's uh, recall or refresh uh, the ideas of the poem. So, how to tell wild animals? So, what does or what did the poet do in the first episode? Or what did we do in the first episode? Yeah. Sir, we actually identified through the poem, mm -hmm. how to uh, identify the animals. So, we learned how to identify. Yeah, how okay, to come identify. Come on, I'm going to ask you, uh, how will you identify a Asian lion? Sir, it's a tawny beast. Mm, tawny. It's roars. Yeah, yeah, uh. It's roars mm. and it's large. Okay, what about Bengal tiger? Sir, Bengal tiger, uh, it's, uh, sir, it, it's described as black stripes on a yellow ground mm. and it's going to eat you mm. and it's, uh, usually roaming around. Fine, it roams around. Yeah. And and leopard. So leopard is described as. It doesn't. It doesn't roar. It doesn't roar. Mm. Uh, its spots is peppered, and it's going to lap and lap again. And then to then, eat then, you. then then what does the what does the bear do? So bear is going to hug you before killing you. Killing you. you. <laughs> Fine. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it's also going to give you like more. Caress, tight, tight, tight hug. <laughs> uh, if it's going to eat you, mm, fine. Yeah. All right, all right. And crocodile? Crocodile will cry, uh, and weeps, but, but ultimately kills you. Kills you and eats okay. you. Okay, uh, with, with, with his own, uh, with its own pretension. Yes, that's sir. right. We do not know whether uh, crocodile pretends. The poet believes, so let's also believe. Yeah. Then the last one, chameleon. Huh. Hmm. Chameleon, uh, sir. It's described as a small animal which does not have any ears and uh, does not have any wings hmm. and it camouflage uh, it camouflages with the background fine and, and and when there is no other animal you can see him yes fine all right now come on let's read the poem uh, once again in order to get the deeper meaning of it so let me ask you to do that come sure, on sure sir how to tell wild animals if ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying, you will know it is the Asian lion. Or if sometime when roaming round, a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground, just notice if he eats you, this simple rule may help you learn the Bengal tiger to discern. Okay, and the Bengal tiger is noble and no. wild. Yes, because we sir. have to notice it, why he is noble. Learners, Understand, animals are always noble. It's we humans, we are not noble. And we have, we strive to be noble. Noble, yeah, fine, fine. If strolling forth a beast you view, whose hide with spots is peppered, as soon as he has leapt on you, you will know it is the leopard. Okay. It will do no good to roar with pain. He will only lap and lap again. Okay, he will not roar. You only just bounce and bounce, lap and lap again. Yes, fine, sir. fine. Okay, then. If when you're walking round your yard, you meet a creature there, who hugs you very, very hard, be sure it is a bear. If you have any doubts, I guess he will give you just one more caress. Okay, so he hugs you to finish you up. Okay, fine, fine. Though to distinguish beasts of prey, a novice might non plus. The crocodile you always may tell from the hyena thus. Hyenas come with merry smiles, but if they weep, they are crocodiles. Okay, what's the difference between crocodile and hyenas? Hyenas are going to smile and crocodiles are going to weep. Okay, but both will kill you. Ultimately, finish you off. Yes, okay, sir. fine. All right. The true chameleon is small, a lizard sort of thing. He hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing. 
If there is nothing on the tree, it's the chameleon you see. Okay, when there is nothing on the tree, you will find the chameleon, but he will be hiding in with the color of the background. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. All right. Learners, you also read many a time. Why it is important to read? Each word is used in a typically different manner in a poem. Not, it's not prose, it's not a, an article or, or a report. Come on. Now, I'm going to ask you to do for learners. Learners, you also try that. Draw a column here. Okay, sir. And write about the animal using the phrases used here. Describe okay. each animal. Okay, sir. Come on. Let's take up what? Asian lion first. Okay, sir. Okay, come on. So, you will be speaking out and telling the learners. Shh. Uh, let, let, let's look at the lines there. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. What are you going to write? The characteristics, okay. appearance, okay. actions. Three okay. things. The poet brings, uh, brings in uh, three things here. The characteristics of the animal, actions, and the effect on us. Okay. Okay, yeah, sir. Now. So, sir, the... F Need not write complete sentence. Okay. Yeah, fine. Large... Large, tawny. Tawny. Tawny is also large. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then Asian also they have described. Okay. It's, it's, it's specific. This line is mostly available. Asian line is a special a special category. Yes, sir. And you will not find uh, elephants and lions, if I am right, in Europe. You will find in Africa and Asia only. Okay. Hot, hot climate they live. Okay, so, sir. Okay, Asian line. But what about the other, other actions of the animal? Sir, it roars. Roars, fine. Tawny beast, huh? Yes, sir. So we okay, can fine. say beast. The tawny beast, fine. Okay. Because there's a difference between animal and a beast. Beast okay. is beastly. Okay. It will be wild. It will kill you. It will kill people okay. for food. Okay. Fine. Come on, come on. Now, now, now. Uh, are you are you happy with the uh, this this these words and phrases? Yes, sir. For, to describe Asian life. Yes. Come on, sir. let's move on to Bengal tiger. Bengal tiger. So, sir, firstly, they are roaming around. Oh, it, they roam around. That means generally tigers roam around more than lion. Okay. Mm. That's a roam around, roaming around, fine. Then noble. Mm, noble, it's not noble alone. Yeah. What's that? Noble wild. Uh, wild beast. beast. Okay. <laughs> mm. Look at uh, learners. The poet uses the word beast beastly referring to all these animals because they are wild okay fine come on mm. then it says black stripes yeah stripes yeah on a yellow ground okay so read again uh, asian line what are the characteristics large fine tawny mm. Asian, hmm. rose, hmm. beast. Okay, fine. It's also region. Okay, then then. For tiger hmm. roaming around, hmm. noble wild beast, mm -hmm. black stripes on a yellow ground. Hmm. There you wrote Asian. Yes, sir. That here. Bengal. Bengal. See, Indian uh, the Bengal tiger is known for its characteristics, and still uh, uh, it's it's becoming uh, what's that endangered. Extreme. Endangered. Yeah. So we need to protect them. Come on, let's it's move on. It's also our national animal. Oh, yes. It's also India's national animal. Yes, sir. Fine. Come on, let's move on to the next animal. Okay, sir. Mm -mm. Leopard. Mm, leopard. The fastest animal. So, we can say beast. Beast, of course. All, all of them are beast. Beastly, if yes, not. Sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Then, spots. How, how are the spots? Is peppered. Oh, okay, fine, right. It's like pepper, scattered, fine. Then it doesn't roar. Okay. It won't make any noise. Yeah. Just come to on. What's it? Lep, lep. Look at the, uh, let's use the word lep and lep. Okay, okay sir. Sorry. And lastly, mm. lep and lep. Okay, come on. Then comes the bear. So, they say they will be walking around our yard. So, walking around 
or yard then then hugs you very very hard hmm. first so, he hugs you nice yeah <laughs> then then caress you yes sir. Hard. yeah fine fine go ahead go ahead you are right hmm. so i will say hugs you hmm. hard then then it's going to caress ultimately eating you yes oh, come on okay now these are the two two more animals come on let, let's move on to other 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 animals come on who are they hyena hmm. Hmm. so let's put oh, okay together hi okay. hi hyena and crocodile crocodile okay this side you write uh, okay, hyena sir. and crocodile here fine okay, sir. Mm. so for hyena smiles uh, so uh, they both are described as beasts of prey okay all of them are actually beasts of prey yes sir fine they had to kill some some animal as some some living uh, thing then eat yes sir mm -mm. So for hyena, they say novice might non plus. Okay. Then novice like us who 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 do not know about these animals. Novice means someone who starts a new job. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, he is a novice. Beginner will not know how they behave because one smiles, the other weeps. Hmm. Fine. Come on. Come on. Mm. Okay. Mm. So then they say hyenas with merry smiles. Okay. Hyena. Hyenas smile. Yes, sir. Whereas crocodile, they are weep. So okay. for crocodile, they say hmm. weeps. Ultimately, both of you, both of them, kills you. Okay, fine. Yes, then, sir. then next animal. Next is the chameleon. Hmm. Uh, it is small. Mm -hmm. It's like a lizard okay then what it has what it doesn't have okay hmm. so it doesn't have ears then doesn't have wings fine but it it doesn't eat anybody yes sir it doesn't eat but it anybody. eats yeah insects small animals yeah. no yeah and reptiles maybe i don't know it may eat um, flies and all yes sir mm, it, yeah mm, mm. yeah and so, but the poet doesn't say it. yes sir mm. and it in the poem it's described as uh, he's doing nothing on the tree mm. so you know if there is nothing on the tree nothing on the tree if there is nothing no on the tree you will find him okay oh, that's right yeah. read, read carefully okay, sir. if there is nothing on the tree it's, it's the, the chameleon, chameleon you, you can see, see. yeah okay. fine come on mm, mm. Go ahead. Okay, hmm. so I can I can say it. It will be. It hides. We can say hides, and it 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 lives in isolation. Okay. Hmm. Aloof. Hides. Many animals. Many animals. Hmm. Lives alone. Okay. Lives alone. Come on. Let's let's look at what we have written. I'm going to give you learners uh, some writing tasks based on this. Okay. Uh, let's begin with uh, Asian lion. Mm, the first animal uh, the can you say it in 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 sentences come on asian lion so it is large mm. uh, asian lion is also a tawny beast a wild beast wild beast mm. it's asian lion so it is it lives from in, Asia. in yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it roars a lot uh. and it's uh, described as a beast wild beast wild beast okay tiger a uh, tiger is seen roaming around mm -hmm. And it's also described as noble wild, wild beast. beast. You have to qualify, explain a wild beast. A beast, beast. Suppose uh, if, if if I say he's a he's a he's a what's that? Noble thief or noble murderer. Will you accept it? No, sir. Then, I will not. So noble wild beast. Learners, let us qualify that. I'm we are we leave it to you. But the animal does what it is supposed to do. But we humans do what we are not supposed to do, and what some of the things which are evil, which are bad to ourselves and others, we do. That's why the poet is bringing in his humor, noble, 
but wild beast okay come on go, go ahead uh, then it's the it's described as black stripes on a yellow ground and it's a bengal tiger it's found in bengal yes sir. okay bengal includes bangladesh also okay that's all fine yeah uh, leopard uh, it's described as beast mm. spots is peppered then it doesn't roars doesn't roar okay doesn't roar mm. okay and it lap and lap okay lap and lap and bounce, bounce on us okay 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 then bear bear is seen uh, walking ar- uh, walking round our yard okay you can s- spot him in our neighborhood okay and all in a sudden it might come okay yes, sir. then it hugs you hard and kill you and and then lastly it caress you okay in order to eat to you, eat you. Yes, fine sir. okay all these wild animals have one quality common they make it except the chameleon chameleon okay, yes okay fine come on now then hyena and crocodile uh, they are described as beasts of prey uh, but the hyena is also described as novus mite non plus no no we will not understand no you, poet says let, let's look at the line come on let me read out though to distinguish beasts of prey a novus mite non plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyena des hyenas came with merry smile but if they weep they are crocodile so a, a, a person who doesn't know this will not understand so okay. so that is what novice okay. yeah, a person new to the job the person doesn't understand the thing so he will he will see that oh this smiles it may not kill and it cries it, it is with me no but they will do wow. okay. Okay. okay okay chameleon okay mm. a uh, chameleon is described as small it's like a lizard uh, it doesn't have ears it doesn't have wings it hides and uh, it lives alone okay that's what the poet says if there is nothing on the tree you can see the chameleon, chameleon. fine now i have a question for you both the learners and you uh, the asian lion tiger bear who else um, leopard leopard then then uh, the other one um, crocodile, uh, crocodile. Uh, they are wild animals they kill you but chameleon is not yes sir so why does the poet bring in chameleon along with the other wild animals um chameleon you can see in our neighborhood also but we don't trouble them and they don't trouble us so why i'm leaving to you learners again the of course they are wild animals yes, sir. in one way you can find them in forest and different kind of chameleon different ki- kinds of leopards okay now the question is uh, for you learners she has described them by by with some phrases some sen- some words and phrases to describe now you will have to write at least 7 to 10 sentences of each animal the poet has described so it's your writing activity number 1 come on uh, try follow the process approach to writing which we have discussed i think more than 3 4 uh, lessons videos uh, in class 10 as well as class 9 you can watch them or it it will appear on your uh, e vidya channel then follow that or let us tell them the process approach to writing how will you, how will they do sir firstly they are going to write a rough uh, Draft. 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 first of all they jot down the points yes, then then they are going to uh, like make an outline make an outline then they are then they are going to revise it no no write the first draft write the first draft revise then it then revise it and, and fine. then finalize fine. it that's a process to uh, writing follow it this is how a very good writer begins to write and whenever they write they make many drafts so learners that's what come, come on now the poem is said are described as humorous for you what makes the poem humorous sir actually the uh, basically the poet is trying to make a, a bond mm. or make make a link uh, with the characteristic of the animals which are wildly beastly mm. and he is explaining it in a very humorous way that means you, if you want to identify a tiger it will come this way and bounce on you then it's a tiger yes. so so it is expressed in the the words he has used look at the words given here he went there look at it tawny beast and when you are even in when it bounces on you when you are dying you will understand it's asian lion then the same way tiger noble wild beast wild beast well, yeah. that's that the description yes, but you, as you, uh, one bouncing 
you will die as you die you will understand it is tiger hmm. the bengal tiger yeah. the same way when a leopard lep lep the, the, look at the words used lep lep uh, uh, and 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 the words like you no know, mm, as you are dying that makes the poem uh, humorous learners you may notice many things now a question to you again yes sir both of you do we need a place to confine animals and we watch and we get the pleasure or happiness by watching them is it required zoos are required sir i don't think so zoos are required but they have become uh, like we can say a necessity of the city fine and let me tell you learners uh, uh, i am old enough to have, i have seen lot of circus in those days in uh, even in 90s 20 years ago we had lot of circus circus companies coming to your very village uh, many towns then you will see many animals performing yes sir uh, elephant would be some, uh, uh, operating a motorbike uh, lion jumping it is now not there yes sir entire europe america it was a big entertainment it's just simply vanished slowly vanished and banned so the same way i think hmm. i don't know whether i have authority to say uh, we should not have zoos let let them live in jungles we may visit them to see that there is a famous uh, kruger bark in south africa I means in africa uh, it's it's almost kind of i think 200 uh, kilometers of uh, dense forest i uh, mean in the african sense because they are kind of you no know, desert like mm, there you will see animals roaming and we the people who go to watch them see them are in the cages Con- confined uh, in the in the cages yeah. we go in cages to see this is how uh, we need to think so learners the another aspect you may discuss with your fr- friend uh, in classmates in the classroom with the teacher is do we need zoos in today's context so learners we close it here uh before closing let's listen to the poem again uh, would you read out again sure, uh, i have made you ma- re- read out many a time no come problems. on learners it means that you also will have to read come on yeah how to tell wild animals if ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion or if some time when roaming round a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground just notice if he eats you this simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger to discern if strolling forth a beast you view whose height with spots is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard it will do no good to roar with pain he will only lap and lap again if when you are walking round your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more caress do to distinguished beasts of prey a novice might non plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyena does hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles the true chameleon is small a lizard sort of thing he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree it's the chameleon you see okay thank you very much learners deliberately we haven't discussed anything about the poet you google or read go to library consult uh, books find out who's the poet is i don't even know uh, who which nationality he or she belongs to uh, this is your job and why we don't we 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 ignore the poet is a poem has its meaning without the poet so let's understand at the school level maybe in the university we go to the age of the poet means the time in which it was written the political social connotations and denotations that's for a deeper thing now uh, let, let me thank you kriti and the learners learners read the poem many a time many times then decode it the poetry has its own language understand it and once you understand look at the poetical devices the poetic devices like metaphor simile rhyme scheme 
and many of the things she picked up many of the words then we call it keywords and in order to understand and write it i think then as we have done the job you also do it as a follow up job and your teachers will tell you how to do further further and better till then take care we meet you in uh, next episode in the next lesson